Coffee capsules is the fastest growing area of the at-home coffee market. Sales of capsules in the UK alone recently topped £100 million, and worldwide the market's worth more than £10 billion. Nespresso is the best-selling coffee machine in the world, but in 2011 the patent for its capsules expired, opening the market up to entrepreneurs. I had an espresso machine and I battled to actually get hold of capsules, whether it be online or I had to go into Selfridges or the Nespresso boutique stores, of which I think there are only six in the UK at the moment. So there was a massive opportunity there to offer consumers a quality product that they could actually get their hands on. In 2011, Brent and his business partner Peter Granger established Cafe Pod, which began trading the following year. Today, the business turns over three million pounds per annum a success built around two key differentiators, accessibility and quality. Nespresso sets a very high benchmark, um, so we need to make sure we at least met that and exceeded it, um, making sure that we partnered with the right roasters, the right coffee experts in the industry who understood um, how people in the UK drank coffee. Almost as important as the taste is the user experience. In this factory in East Sussex, Cafe Pod has its own production equipment, here, it can perfect not only the design of the capsule, but also the other processes, all of which contribute to the perfect cup of coffee. We started with a base level of knowledge of zero, <laughs> so Google helped us a lot along the way. Um, and we just found people who were willing to share with us and people that we could partner with to assist us with developing the capsule, with developing the blends that go into the capsule, and we have partnered with some of the best people in the business. The capsule is ultimately a delivery mechanism, but the way that works in the, in the system and in ultimately delivering a final product is so crucial. What you're trying to encapsulate in the capsule is all the skills that you'd get from somebody in a coffee shop making a coffee, understanding the temp, the grind, um, the type of coffee, the, how it's roasted, the, the moisture content in the coffee all plays a massive role. In establishing Cafe Pod, its founders fought hard to ensure that the capsules were available to consumers on the shelves of high street supermarkets. In 2012, Waitrose became the first major retailer to stock Cafe Pod coffee capsules. We had a number of customer requests for Nespresso compatible capsules. We'd seen huge growth in the pods and capsules market um, and Nespresso compatible capsules was something that customers were really looking for to be able to buy on the high street. Cafe Pod approached us at the right time um, and with a great idea um, to develop their brand. The market in the UK may be growing, but it remains the smallest market in Europe. Consequently, Cafe Pod is launching on the continent, where its marketing strategy will center on offering consumers stronger coffee varieties. Europe is a, is a much more mature market than in the UK, um, but in a way that gives us a slight advantage because we're coming in as a new entrant, we're uh, a young entrepreneurial startup company, um, and we provide, we're going to provide a point of difference, uh, which is providing just strong coffee, good strong coffee. Future success for Cafe Pod depends on making product available where consumers like to shop. And these days, that's the internet. In order for us to have a broad range of consumers across, across the UK, online is absolutely where, where we need to be and our sales have been, um, have been doing very well on the back of our launch on website. It is and will become even more crucial part of that direct relationship with the consumer, um, getting feedback, um, telling us the bad stuff and the good stuff so we can, we can make changes as opposed to trying to figure things out um, from, from footfall in, in a supermarket, for example. How we drink our coffee today is almost unrecognisable from 20 years ago. By being the first in the capsule market in the UK, Cafe Pod has stolen a march on competitors, securing its success for many years to come.